That, to me, is the core principle of why we need more sports in the city. Mm -hmm. And every time I hear a politician or a wannabe mayoral candidate or whomever argue that this is not a big deal, that there are more important things, to them I say you're crazy. To them I say go back and read a book I read in politics class called Bowling Alone and tell me again why the arena is not a big deal. And this is why it drives me crazy, and I went over this earlier, that people want to be divisive in the sports community and start comparing the this and the that of the two different arena projects. Who cares? Leave that to the politicians. Leave that to the traffic experts. Why get involved? Get a team. Get a hockey team. Get a basketball team. Get an arena. Get a concert venue. And get the things that bring our community together, which should be what we want as sports fans. Don't allow us to be divided. It's silly. And when I see these complaints of, oh, easy for you to say, go to games and this and that and far away, look, I don't know what to tell you. Most people don't go to 40 games a year. Most people go to at most a handful. And if you can't handle sitting in an extra 10 minutes of traffic a couple times a year, then you're not that big a sports fan. Mm. <laughs> like that, you, that shouldn't be the make or break of this. Oh, the traffic. Yeah, guess what? When you go to a game, there might be traffic. And most games you're going to watch on TV or listen to on the radio. The goal is to have teams in town. And yeah, Key Arena might have more traffic or maybe this one will have less. And I see pluses and minuses to both of the proposals. And I like them both. And I will stand up and cheer if Soto gets done. And I will stand up and cheer if Seattle Center gets done. And I'm not going to allow a couple of people who have been pot committed to one proposal or the mm -hmm. other to convince us that this thing is 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 meant to divide us. It's not. Can it you should be bringing us can together. Can you convince politicians that sports do matter? I would hope those, that they those, should know it to already. To those candidates that say, eh, the majority of Seattleites, and that's the big challenge, is realizing that most are not engaged in sports. Is it possible to sit down and actually convince them? Is it possible to show them the well, parades in the city in 1979 or after the 2013 Super Bowl and say, when else? When else have you seen this kind of camaraderie? When else have you seen this kind of civic unity? When else have you seen the agendas dropped off? I think you could convince them, but you would need to get on their radar screen in order to do so, to have the time in front of them. And I've spent some time in front of politicians making that pitch, and they kind of give you an open mind. Like, oh, I guess I never really thought about it that way because this is low on their priority list. And so they need to be reminded. They need to be reminded that sports fans and the community in general benefits from having things that bring our city and our region together. And it's not just the fact that 800,000 show up at a parade, that 55,000 show up at a Seahawks game all wearing the same jersey and cheering for the same thing with the same common purpose. Not just the, the tens of thousands that, that tailgate before a Husky game or a Seahawks game or the people that pour into the Soto area for a Mariners game or a Sounders game and do the, do the march to the match and get mm -hmm. their scarves up. And not just all the people that would invest in hockey for the first time and learn about it together or would be so relieved to have the basketball team back that won them a championship and provided so much excitement in the 90s. No, it goes beyond that. It goes to players like Michael Bennett and Cliff Averill doing things for the community like this commercial they taped with Safeway over the weekend to get kids to eat their veggies. When I say a vegetable or fruit, I want you to say the first animal that comes to your mind. Flamingos. Which vegetable reminds you of Mike Bennett? When I eat pineapple, I go like this. <laughs> we have a staring contest, and guess what? The loser has to eat vegetables for the rest of the day. To the left, to the left, to the right, to the right. To the back, to the back, to the front, to the front. I can't hold it. I can't hold it. No, sorry, sorry. Tag, tag, tag. Ooh. Got arms like Doug Baldwin, boy. This is a Tom Brady orange. A Tom Brady orange? <laughs> That's what you feel about Tom Brady and his orange? <laughs> So there stars, you man, stars invested, stars like Richard Sherman that, that, that have a backpack drive bigger than any other, stars like Russell Wilson that go to Children's Hospital on Tuesday, stars like, yes, like Mike Bennett and Cliff Averill, who partner with Safeway and their foundation to actually make an impact, to actually back up their talk, who actually do walk it, and it's not just walking into an elementary school, as great as that may be, and signing autographs or reading a book or whatever, but actually – kind of genuine, tangible things to both give back and to partner with others yeah. in this community to make it happen. And instead, for too long, all we've gotten, and I'm not just sitting here complaining about politicians because I've worked in politics and I've known some really good ones, but for years, and not just in Seattle, this is not a Seattle phenomenon, no matter how much people want it to be, politicians get confused by sports. Mayor Tom Menino was in Boston, of all places, a town that cares more about sports than anything, and he couldn't get anything right. In Boston... 
we have an amazing set of remarkable athletes whose action in a moment have become ionic <laughs> in sports. Havlicek stole the ball, Fisk waving the ball fair, Flutie launching the Hail Mary pass, Veritek splitting the upright. Oh, that last one's Ooh, tough. Yeah. That's tough. Hobbin Don't worry. Is it worse it than this one? Be. Yeah, we have Tom Brady here. We have Tom Brady here. We have Tom Brady here. <laughs> and Stephen Ridley. I mean, another great guy. And Will Clark. <laughs> Will Fork. I'm sorry. Will Fork. I'm sorry. <laughs> Will Clark, yeah. Will Fork. You know, Hernan Hernandez is going to do a great job. Oof. He sets in for Ugh. Gonk. His Gonk's hurt. <laughs> we have a pretty the defense is coming together. Tay, I swear he does it on. The only good news there is that he didn't say Hernandez was a great guy. Right. At least he only said that oh. about Stephen Ridley and not oh. Aaron Hernandez, because he could have very easily accidentally said that. Look, this is not atypical among politicians to not care. But when I hear about politicians saying, oh, I'm really just not that into sports. Tough. Yep. Nobody's asking you to become the world's biggest sports fan. They're only asking you to recognize that an enormous sect of the people in your town are and that their interests are important and that beyond that, it benefits the entire community, both economically and, 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 and with a sense of community purpose, which are all things politicians should be shooting for. So I just it drives me nuts. And and when I see a text here that says, oh, don't kid yourself, that's exactly what politicians want. Mm. They want us to be divided as a community. Mm. Maybe you're right, but there's definitely some members of the media in this town that are buying it hand, hand over fist. Yep. Stop buying into the divisiveness of it. Come together. Realize that we, the sports fans, should all be on the same page on this. Yep. And I'm, I'm, I continue to be shocked that, that we divide ourselves as a sports fan community mm. instead of saying, all right, whichever project you want, let's go. Stop worrying about the merits of one and the other. I'm going to stop this one, and I'm going to succeed with that one. And I'm who cares? I, I just think just it's, it just 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 allow this thing to happen. Just try to convince politicians that it matters, and don't bring out the ugly side of it by showing them the the, the negative side of sports. Show them the positive. Tell them about what it meant for you and your buddies to tailgate before a Seahawks Packers playoff game. Tell them what it meant to just be cheering and crying with the person next to you after a win. Tell them about how you met one of your best friends in a parking lot uh, cheering and getting ready for a Huskies game. Mm -hmm. Tell them about all the good times you used to have going to Sonics games and the people that you got to know in your section, in your row, in the bar you went to, or whatever. Tell them about how much money you dropped in the local bars all around Seattle Center yep. back when Key Arena was there. Yep. Tell them about all of those things instead of bitching and moaning about traffic. Mm. I don't get it. Oh, the traffic. You're a sports fan. Deal with the traffic. That's part of our life. We go to games with 60,000 other people. There's going to be traffic. We suck it up and we deal with it. Is it great? No. Is it a means to an end of watching our favorite teams play? Yes. Stop complaining about the traffic at a game. I got to find something that fires me up tomorrow that gets my throat sore because your throat can be sore tomorrow. Probably bro. true. Oh, I know it. But is. this has been driving me nuts for ages. And, and, and yeah. I know it's Social not the most, capital, in, it man. doesn't get interesting when we yeah. talk about the ins and outs of who does what and what proposal. And I, I don't want to worry about it all. I know you guys don't care for the most part. There's a huge number of people that just say, turn it off. But, but the problem is we're allowing, to, uh, we're allowing ourselves to get caught up in the fight against each other okay. instead of simply the fight for the nobody. same thing. Yep. And you got to start telling the politicians what we want instead of just what we don't want. That's the point I'm trying to make.